In this episode, we're going to take a trip to Signature Frags, a coral farm up in North Derbyshire, give you a little look around, and it's the final moments that the anemone and the Red Sea Max Nano is going to stay in there. Let's roll those tiles. Now then, here we are, just arrived in Ripley in North Derbyshire, which is home of Signature Frags, the coral farm, which we're going to visit today. So we're going to do a little tour. Uh, if you're enjoying the content, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to watch the journey of this little Red Sea Max Nano, uh, yeah, keep following the channel and make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really does help and it doesn't cost a single penny. Uh, if you go back on the channel, you'll see the setup of the uh, little Red Sea Max Nano. Uh, and also, if you keep following the channel, uh, all the way up to when we shut it down. Now, at the moment, uh, I haven't got a clue where Signature Frags is, but we'll keep looking and see what we can find. But anyway, super excited to show you around. So just heading down from the marketplace in Ripley and here we are at Signature Frags. Uh, Signature Frags is one of my favourite online coral suppliers. Check out the website, their SPS selection is absolutely incredible. The coral health, the coral correlation, you cannot go wrong. So I'm super excited to get on this tour. Let's take a look and hopefully not spend too much money inside. When you walk into Signature Frags, you are greeted by three stunning coral beds, two SPS dominant and one LPS softy tank. These are eight foot by four foot, 16 inches tall, holding a total of 4,000 liters of water. Yes, much bigger than my little Red Sea Max Nano. The shop's been up and running for about a year now. On the left is a coral preparation area for those people making purchases. Just behind me is a lovely seating area where you can grab a cup of tea. Uh, there's also on my right a beautiful fish only display tank and a small selection of fish to purchase in store. What better way to make me feel welcome than a cup of tea? All part of the customer experience. The mug itself was made by Trust Phantom on Instagram. Check them out. Right, let's have a look around the shop. At Signature Frags, there's a huge focus on natural biodiversity on the reef. So they try to get as much microfauna and microbacteria populations into the reef as possible. First of all, they use live rock, which is quarantined and cured. And then they've added huge amounts of macro reef rock, which has been seeded by the live rock. They're trying to develop the amount of filter feeders, natural sponges, and as you can see by these shots, a huge amount of coralline algae. To get this tank started, they use Brightwell's 123 bacteria, Microbac to start, a few weeks down the line, Microbac to clean, and then they moved on to Microbac to 7. They also use Miracle Muds and any other bacteria from the sea. Lighting. They run the latest Radeon XR30 Gen 5 Blues. They have six on each individual coral bed, kicking out around about 460 par in the SPS tanks and between 200 and 250 par in the LPS and Softies tank. They use the AB Plus template on the Ecotech app and dial in the intensity to suit their corals, but there's very few areas that has low light. They also run six gyres to provide perfect perfect flow across all areas of the tank. The fish are fed a combination of frozen mysis and brine shrimp. They absolutely love it. They were super healthy and super active. One of my favorite fish that I saw was a baby gold flake angel. They also had Achilles tangs, banner fish and copper band butterflies. You can purchase fish in store. They are collection only, but if you see something, you can take it home. Stable parameters are the key to these successful reef tanks. Let's take a look. You might need to pause the video. It's going to be quick. Have a little look at those parameters. The pH 8.4 is my aspiration. Absolutely key to a healthy reef. For nutrient export, they carry out 25% weekly water changes. Obviously, the bacteria help to denitrify any ammonia. They also uh, have filter floss in the sump. Max spec bioballs, 80 kilo, uh, kilograms of max spec bioballs, a skimmer, corals to absorb any nutrients, and they just like to keep it simple. No filter roller and no refugium, but plenty of live rock. 
Let's take a look at some of these corals under the blue. They are absolutely stunning. If you're looking for something very special for your collection, this is the place. All corals are quarantined to ensure that they're pest free and only the ones that are colored up and based out are actually leaving the shop from the website. All these cor uh, corals you can see here are aquacultured, including that beautiful green space invader with the yellow center. Aquaculture means that they're slightly more expensive, but they you know, as a guarantee they're going to be more likely to survive in your aquarium. This is one of the only places that I know where you can see the mother colonies alongside the frags that you're purchasing. Just look at the pop on these corals. It is absolutely stunning. Uh, there's something here for every type of tank size and every type of budget. How beautiful is that red blossom Acropora? I'd love that in my little Red Sea Max Nano. There is the pink Cadillac. There's also a cherry red and a red Millipora there as well in the shot. You've got a Voodoo Magic in the top left and then central shot there. And there is the Berry Blast, the green and red one. Now I do apologize, as you know, I've only been reefing 10 months. There is a green millipora there as well. I've only been reefing 10 months and I do get some of the names wrong, so hopefully uh, I've got those ones right. If you see something you like, go and check out, see if it's available on the website. One thing I did notice is there's way more corals in the coral beds than is available on the website. And that's simply because at Signature Frags, they only let the best specimens, the healthiest corals that are basing out in coloration actually go to the customer. So if you also see something, I would pause the video, remember the time, and then get in touch with Signature Frags, ask them what the coral is, and ask them if they can reserve you a piece once it's ready. One of the beautiful things about Signature Frags is that you can see the mother colony directly next to the frags that are available for sale. So you can actually see how it's going to grow out, what color it's going to be and see if it suits your collection and see where it would fit perfectly on your aquascape. Now, Christian, who's down there, has got all the time in the world for his customers. He's super knowledgeable about each individual coral. He'll advise you what's best for your tank, what's most suitable for your parameters, and really has got all that time to give you. You could spend hours down in the shop and probably end up spending a little bit of money along the way. Now, the most popular corals at this moment in time, probably fueled by Instagram, is the rainbows. Every single person loves a rainbow coral. Those yellows, those greens, those blues, those pinks. If you can find corals that have got those two or three combinations of colors, they're the ones that are kind of flying out of the store. So aquaculture corals, these are uh, aquarium, as it were, established. So when you put these into your aquarium, they should be absolutely fine and begin to thrive. So how does he get his corals so fleshy, so colourful and so healthy? Let's have a look at dosing and feeding. Other than their usual fish waste, they tend to feed amino acids, which I also swear by, phytoplankton, live phytoplankton and also zooplankton. Take a look at that stunning bounce mushroom. I think I need to get one of those. Now it's not just SPS and Acros at Signature Frags. They've also got LPS and Softies. Check this one out. The Acan Rainbow, Rainbow Acan. This is stunning. I would really love that in my little Red Sea Max Nano. They've also got a range of chalices. The patination and the color under the blue lights is just incredible. Someone said I need to get some Acans in the little Red Sea Max Nano. That one there would do just fine. Also, these beauties, the Ganiporas, not just the coloration, but look at the movement. If you're looking for interesting corals, go for your LPS and softies. The movement of these orange hammers, the Ganiporas, and the torch corals is just incredible. Now check out the website, they have got frag packs available where you can save some money uh, if you're buying some corals. There's also a Facebook promotion. Head over to Signature Frags on Facebook, join the promotion and you could win a hundred pound voucher to potentially buy some of these beautiful corals. My favorite, 
the torch corals. Now they've also spanned out into chalices and more recently into some stunning zoas. Keep an eye on the website, they are coming very soon. So back in the car, just got out of Signature Frags. I have had the most amazing time at Signature Frags. What an amazing coral room that is. The, the corals are stunning, the coral health is stunning, and uh, honestly, cannot complain. So I've got here my little bag of goodies. Uh, I've picked up four corals, uh, three SPS corals and one uh, soft coral. We're going to get them back. Uh, I've got a live stream tonight, so I need to get back on the live stream. And you'll probably see me unpackaging the corals on there as well. So, uh, yeah, let's get back. But really enjoyed it. Absolutely brilliant. Wow, what a coral room that is. Now, as you can see, I've managed to narrow my little choice of new corals down to just four. There was originally about 10 to 15 that I'd really like, but some of them would have been a bit tricky. Some of the acaporas that I really like would have been a bit tricky, especially when they require stable, mature tanks. And my tank is only, it's only 10 months old and it's a nano, so the parameters do change a little bit than, you know, than, a, than a larger tank. So maybe that would have been a bit ambitious. So let me show you what I've got. So I managed to pick up a Forest Fire Digitata, super lovely SPS coral, beautiful reds and blues, it looks absolutely stunning. At the moment it's just sat in here, it's been acclimating uh, in the tank for about 20 minutes just to bring it up to temperature. It's now sat in a little bit of Coral RX uh, and uh, the salt water as well from the tank, so it's acclimating to the tank, but that's the um, Forest Fire Digitata. Uh, under the blues, you'll get a lot more of an effect. This one here is a PC Rainbow Acro. It's beautiful greens and blues uh, and reds. Now, I've been given that one as my tester. If I can manage to keep the PC Rainbow Acro alive, then I'm allowed to upgrade, as it were, to the next level. And because uh, the strawberry shortcake was the one that I really fancied uh, as well. So I'm going to go back. If I keep this one alive, I'm going to nip back and pick up one of those in the next few months. Uh, I've also got this. I'm, I was always after a bit of yellow coral. Here is an acro. It's beautiful yellow. You can even see it under the whites. Uh, it's, it's stunning. Super easy SPS coral to keep apparently, so hopefully I don't kill it. And that is a really nice piece. I really like that one. Um, an acro. And the last little piece is pretty special here. This is an LPS, so it's the only LPS that I picked up. Now that's one thing that I did surprise me when I went to see rather than just the website. So the, the website is dominated by SPS which is incredible, super healthy, fleshy, very colourful even under white. Uh, but I didn't realise how much LPS and softies uh, there are available at Signature Frags. There are loads and there's more coming online on the website so keep an eye out for that. And here is a holy grail. Uh, Goni Apora. Okay, so it's a really nice piece. I think it was about £100 that one, so that one's pretty special. Uh, it's sulking at the moment just whilst it's in the dip, but that's what we've got. Now you can see also I've taken off this, the frag plugs. I've just carefully kind of snipped the frag plug away. Two reasons. Uh, one, I don't hate frag plugs, and two, when you're dipping, there's less to kind of dip, as it were, uh, just dip the corals rather than the frag plugs. So uh, that's where we're up to. The next time you're going to see them is in the tank, in position, and uh, looking, hopefully, very good. Let's take a look at them in the tank. We are almost at the end. You'll probably notice that my stunning tricolored anemone is no longer... Uh, in the Red Sea Max Nano. I've had to remove it and kindly a local reefer called Randall's Reef in Derbyshire has offered to rehome it. Now I will miss its coloration and its flow and the only thing to match that is the uh, Holy Grail Torch Coral. A big price difference but that's moved into its position. As you can see from the top of the aquascape, my fingers are all in the way. I've got my Anacro from Signature Frags. I've also got my PC Rainbow and that beautiful Forest Fire Digitata. Down at the bottom there, that's a really special piece, is my Holy Grail Goni Apora. If you want to see how I get on with these new corals from Signature Frags, 
make sure you hit that subscribe button to keep following the journey. If you want to see more content and more tours of local LFSs, then please give me a thumbs up. It all really does help. I genuinely appreciate every single one of you who comments and gives me a thumbs up. And also, if you're still watching, thanks. I know it's been a long one as well, so I appreciate that. I also want to say a huge thank you to Signature Frags for allowing me to do the tour of their coral farm, which was absolutely incredible. You don't want to miss the next episode. We are going to add the fifth and final fish, this Red Sea Max Nano, coming all the way from Scotland and Nessie's Lair. So stay tuned for that one next week. But for now, everybody, thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.